Hey, my leading. How y'all doing today? A little bit of alcohol. I don't care if it's 8.55 in the morning. I just felt like a little bit of alcohol. Never hurt anyone. Well, I'm back with uh, some more TV show reviews. And uh, before I go, I want to, before I start, I want to comment a little more about my review of the ABC's The Muppets, which I pretty much absolutely hated. Now, I've got a lot of people who agreed with me and people who did not agree with me. And some people really didn't agree with me and said that uh, sell all this stuff and said that uh, I'm not a true fan of the Muppets and all this other crap. And I went ahead, you know, I didn't watch the second. I went ahead and I tried to watch the third episode to give it another shot. I didn't see the second episode. And so, uh, I agree with this one guy said that he, they can't make the concept work because he tried to stick with it. And he said one episode was so damn boring, he just gave up on Same, I had the same problem with the third episode. It was just so damn boring. They made them up. It's boring. They humanized them and made them boring. Uh, that's pretty much it for me and the new Muppets. Hell with it. You know, it's not worth my time. To, something I really don't, just do not like. I do not like the new Muppets at all. Well, anyways, that's just my little speech on that. Uh, I'm here to review three uh, new shows. And I just saw the pilot episodes of each show. So I'm just reviewing them from seeing the pilot episode. Both of these shows are... Uh, Ones that came out about a month or so ago and I didn't watch them. Now I'm starting to get caught up on demand. One of them was uh, the one on Fox. I remember seeing the first ad last year. I said, man, I really want to see this show. And I put it on my, uh, shared it on my page. I shared it on, uh, on, uh, a movie Food and Metal too. I think I shared it with one or two other people. Or someone shared it with me. And then I didn't see it when it first came out. Uh, about a month or so ago, Scream Queens on Fox. Now, this is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is on this, and she was pretty much the the first uh, person on there that uh, got the whole uh, term Scream Queen created anyways for her original portrayal in movies like Halloween and The Fog. Not The Fog, Halloween and Terror Train and Prom Night. Well, anyways... Uh, what this show goes, it, it starts in like this one uh, sorority house. And something really screwed up happens uh, when this girl dies. I don't want to give away a whole lot. Uh, it's really interesting, really funny too. It's actually very funny. I was surprised how funny it got, you know, as it goes along. It's pretty ghoulish, but very entertaining. I liked it. Uh, sometimes that one girl, that Chanel number one is such a bitch. But that's within the context of the show. It can be a little bit annoying sometimes. But it's in the context of the show. And uh, that and also the American, story Horror, story, American Horror Story Hotel is what's making a uh, parental television council all pissed off. And they're pissed off with the amount of violence and stuff in uh, Scream Queens. I'm, I'm going to get to that when I finish my review of uh, American story, Horror Story Hotel. But Screen Queens is very entertaining. I really enjoyed it. It's And it, there's lots of really funny parts in it. It's really cool. And it ended really neat the first episode. I don't want to give away too, too much. But there's like a serial killer loose in the sorority house. Full of incredibly superficial people. It's very uh, very entertaining. Very good. So I give that a 9 out of 10. Now the next is American Story Hor American Horror Story Hotel. I get tongue tied. And uh, the one neat thing about American Horror Story is, like, it's a, it's been a continuing series. This is the fifth season, right? But the one thing that's really unique about the, sto uh, the show is every season, the com uh, storyline is completely different. And like I said, I found that out when it's Asylum. I was like, Asylum was really different. It was cool. And this one involves this old uh, hotel... And the hotel's really screwed up. And while the people in there are screwed up and people are dying left and right in the hotel and all sorts of depravity is going on. And I got to say, within the first two, three minutes, I was hooked. And I absolutely love American Horror, American Horror Story Hotel. I absolutely love the show. Uh, I think Kathy Bates will probably get nominated for an Emmy. Now, Jessica Lang's not in this this time, but I think Kathy Bates will definitely get nominated for 
an Emmy for what she's done. She's really good in this one. Above everyone else. Everyone else is, everyone's awesome in the show. Um, the look of the hotel reminds me so much of the Warner Theater during the horror fest I went to. So that, that has something to do with my love of the, love of the show. And um, now the, I said this, well, something's making sound. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, the uh, Parental Television Council is really pissed off with this show. Cause, and I remember I saw some uh, people come and they said, uh, they said there was a, that why after that one scene, two or three scenes, they stopped watching the show. Because I watch the show. I don't want to give it away. But I love the show. But I'm going to say it's fucked up. But it's it's fucked up in a very entertaining way. It's, but I, no way in hell would you ever want to stay in this hotel. But I absolutely love the show. That's a full on 10 out of 10. Now, I want to get back to uh, Parental Television Council complaining about these shows because the Scream Queens and uh, Horror Story are both in family time or prime time. And um, they kind of created their own monster. A long time ago, they were bitching about the uh, about how uh, TV shows need a rating system. And they were complaining back, complaining about for a couple of years. And finally, back in 94, 95, they finally got it done. I remember seeing it when they first had it done. I remember uh, in the morning, I was working at Grimm's. I remember trying TBS and they had three's company. It said TV PG. And that was the first time I saw a TV rating on stuff. And it goes all the way up to TVMA. And I didn't see any TVMA shows for a long time until South Park came along. To my knowledge, South Park was the first TVMA show. I might be wrong. Well, anyways, they created their own monster because this rating system lets the shows get away with more and more. There's no way in hell um, something like American Horror Story Hotel could get away with what they did because, I mean, they didn't have that TVMA rating. They can, with TVMA, they can get away with almost as much as they can, you know, within reason. There's something they cannot show. But they push every single boundary in, in uh, and it's within the guidelines of the rating. So they, uh, the parental uh, television cancer created their own monster. It's their own fault. I mean, they were bitching about, uh, PG-rated movies back in the 80s, and they created the PG-13 rating system, which actually was very practical. They they did good on that. but And then they did NC-17, but MC no one watches NC-17 anymore anyways. But, I mean, that lets people get away with more and more stuff. And on TV, they're really getting away with more stuff. No way they could have had scenes like they had in that American Horror Story Hotel. Or even on Scream Queens, with the incredible amount of bloodshed in that. But it's, it's, they're both very entertaining. Scream, Queen gets, Scream Queens gets a 9, and uh, Marion Horror Story gets a 10. Uh, yeah. What else? I was going to say something else, but I can't remember now. Uh, now, I want to go on to the next show. Now, I didn't even know the show was on. Uh, they're brand new to me. Storage Wars. They have a new spinoff. And this is something my dad could get behind. Uh, because... A lot of times, there's a spinoff to a reality show, like a popular one, it's usually a disaster. I remember Hardcore Pond gave birth to Hardcore Pond Chicago, and that was the little dinkiest little place you ever saw in your life. I actually like Hardcore Pond Chicago. My dad hated it. I think it was on for two seasons, and then it was gone. I think they had like a special show that I, I ended up watching on demand, and that was pretty much it for Hardcore Pond Chicago, and the guy going, yeah, you mind? You know... And then with Storage Wars, they had some spinoffs, including uh, Brandy and Jared Married to the Job, which I really liked, but I don't know if it's going to come back. I, I did enjoy that. And then the probably the worst of them was uh, Barry's. Uh, Barry did a Hidden Treasures. Barry's Hidden Treasures. That show sucked. My dad hated it. I watched one episode and was like, what the hell is going on? That show was really bad. And then in keeping with the Storage Wars, they had some different ones. They had Storage Wars Texas. And Storage Wars New York. Storage Wars Texas, even though it had some irritating characters, that actually worked really well. And actually, it grew on you. And I actually like the show. And it's not on no more. But a couple of people like uh, like Mary are on the regular Storage Wars now. 
which is cool. But I did like Storage Wars Texas. I did enjoy it. Storage Wars New York was completely different entirely. Had the coolest logo to it, but the characters on there are so damn boring. You didn't care about it. That was a weak-ass show. I pretty much hated Storage Wars New York. Now, Storage Wars Miami, I hate too. And my dad would agree with me if he was still alive. The characters on this are so annoying. Because, I mean... It, they give Dave Hester a run for money at being annoying. I can watch Dave Hester because he's uh, he embraces his uh, assholiness, I guess you want to say. Like he's like the Darth Vader character. I mean, you can kind of get a get. Uh, I know people hate Dave Hester, but you can kind of get behind Dave, or kind of laugh sometimes at what a jerk he is. Sometimes, not all the time. But these people on Storage Wars Miami are so annoying, and they act, and they acted up for the camera. Not saying that all, uh, not saying that other reality stars act up for the camera because they do. YouTubers act up for the camera, you know. That's why people say, well, they like my video. They say I'm genuine and stuff. You know, I do like um, if I do a character like Skullface Man or something like that. That's a character I might act in the character, or if I tell, I tell jokes and stuff like that sometimes, but. Uh, I don't know. The the characters on this Swords with Miami are so annoying. They're all assholes as far as I'm concerned. I hate all of them. And then that one guy, Kevin, is like a really poor man's Ivy. He tries to be like Ivy, but a poor man's Ivy. Ivy acts up and, and it's kind of funny, but he's actually funny. Uh, no, no one on this show is funny at all. And uh, the most interesting thing is they had more interaction somewhat with the people the, um, that they take products to. To give him like an evaluation and stuff. So that was interesting. And I know my dad and I had my, well, if my dad was alive, my dad, my dad would have loved that beer stein. I mean, you know, that beer stein was awesome. It was a silver plate beer stein. That thing was cool as hell. If I get a $1,200, we'd love to have that thing, you know. But I, I give, uh, but they're so damn annoying. I, I can't, I actually hit everybody on Storage Wars, uh, Miami, they all suck as far as I'm concerned. I give that I give that probably a, a one and a half out of ten. They might as well just go on the Muppet Show and just all suck together, you know? Awful. So that's my reviews of uh, Scream Queens 9, The Great American Story Hotel 10, and uh, the very lame uh, Storage Wars Miami one and a half. You know, so there you have it, my uh, reviews of those TV shows. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, as fans of Storage Wars, I'm sure more people will check out Storage Wars Miami. And I don't know, maybe some people might like show maybe some people won't. I, I, I kind of hate it. I just hate the characters. They're just so damn annoying and boring and acting, you know. So, till next time, bye. Please take care of my legion.